some people telling Uncle Roger that I love MSG too much, but recently Uncle Roger found a guy who loved balloon more than Uncle Roger loved MSG. My name is Julius, I'm 62 years old, hmm. and I'm addicted to balloons. This guy looked like dollar store Elton John. They're beautiful, they're soft, smooth, delicate. I have a connection with them. Intellectually, I know that balloons are not alive but sometimes I wonder if it's my love for them that brings them to life. My first reaction was, wow, balloons, that's kind of strange. My first reaction was, wow, balloons, that's kind of strange. That, that his nephew, full mustache, no eyebrow, this whole family, just weird. If burn victim got more eyebrow than you, you fucked up. Julius has been addicted to balloons for over five decades. Five decades? He started when he was a child as a 50 year to the shapes and colors. Now Julius has filled his home with over 50,000 balloons. Holy shit! By them. 50,000 balloons in your house? This guy need Marie Kondo. Hiya. I love all balloons, but I do have my favorites. I like the crystal clear. I, I've got the long ones, the round ones, but my favorite is the spherical ones. Why? I, I don't know. I, I guess it's like a guy that prefers blondes or brunettes, you know? I, I guess it's like a guy that prefers blondes or brunettes, you know? He talking about them like it's some sort of sexual preference. Some people straight, some people gay, some people bi. This guy, balloon. Julius is so addicted, he even has an entire room dedicated Ugh. to balloons. This is my balloon sanctuary. Balloon sanctuary, and this guy and his nephew, and I don't know what this house got more of, weirdo or static electricity. Magenta, purple, yellow, blue, red, and clear. And, uh, okay, stop I listing all the color. I don't have many colorblind people think you're showing off. Like there's a white one over there. And then I got some orange. At least he got good diversity in his balloon collection. And yellow. Very woke. And green. I try to alternate it to keep all the colors, you know, uh, of the rainbow in there. I sleep in my balloon room every night. But Julius's obsession with balloons goes beyond shapes and colors. My love for balloons, it's also a sexual love. What? When I see a, a, my love for balloons, it's also a sexual love. A beautiful Set. balloon, my heart starts to flutter. And no, 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 stop. And that that music also. It's also a sexual love. When I see a, a beautiful balloon, my heart starts to flutter. Uncle Roger so disgusted. I have to put my leg down from chair high. Uh, sexual love. He liked balloon too much, this guy. Like Uncle Roger like MSG, but I never tried to fuck it beautiful balloon, my heart starts to flutter. Uh, aroused. Aroused? I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. That way it can take a lot of abuse. A a abuse? What, what he, he say? say? That way it can take a lot of abuse. Abuse the balloon? What you doing to it? I, Uncle Roger don't want to see. Why you abusing balloon? Hi, uh, where the me too for balloon? Where? I'm holding one, you know, hugging it. I'll kiss it, and it's like being in heaven. I mean, don't you like to hug and kiss the woman that you love? <laughs> Ugh, this like the pawn hub version of Up. Luna. Is that short for lunatic? Lots of people out there that feel the same way as I do about Ew. balloons. But there's two groups uh, of the lunar group. You got the poppers that get aroused by popping balloons. And you got your non-poppers. Popper, non-popper. Uncle Roger don't know which one was. I guess popper is worse because you can't be sneaky about it. Imagine if you home alone and then you hear loud bang and then you go, oh shit, is that gunshot? Or is that my neighbor coming? <laughs> Sorry, children. I'm a non-popper. Julius's addiction to balloons started when he was hospitalized at just four years old. Since then, the sound of a balloon popping devastates Julius, and he even rescues balloons he believes to be in danger. Rescue! I'll go to car dealerships and um, do what I call a balloon rescue. When they set them out- That's not rescue, that's stealing! Early in the morning, they're really beautiful, and as the sun uh, bakes on them, they get really dull, uh, misshapen, I feel, you know, like I give him a second chance at life. Oh my, 
This guy delusional. Ugh. Uncle Roger want to know, do the balloon love you back? What, your pickup life for balloon? Oh, you blow me away. Are you looking for something with no string attached? Okay, okay, no more pun, no more pun. It's so lame, I know. But Julius doesn't share his extreme love for balloons with many people. The only people that know is my family. My wife thinks it's strange, Yo. but... His what? what? His... He got what? My wife thinks it's strange. He got a wife? Holy shit, this guy got a wife? And Uncle Roger can't even get Auntie Esther to reply to my text. I, uh, this guy doing better than me in life. Emotional damage. She accepted. <laughs> she refused to participate. Yeah? That because your wife a blow up door? That the only kind of balloon you can touch. The fact that he feels like he has to keep it a secret. Uh, he not keeping it a secret. There. He telling the whole of TLC channel. Hi. Uh, it is a, a, a problem. I see nothing wrong with loving balloons. It's not hurting anybody. It's not dangerous. And I have no desire to change. Today, his nephew, who's also an addiction counselor, wants to confront the issue and convince Julius to see a therapist. I've heard through the family a little talk about your balloons, uh -huh. about your balloon room. What do you get out of your balloons emotionally? When I inflate them, it seems like they come to life for me. Really? Yeah. I heard that there was a some physical attachment to these balloons maybe sexually there's sexual overtones to it sexual yeah. overtone oh understatement of the year you ever think that maybe there's Ugh. something wrong nope you know, no nice. nothing do you think you'll ever give it up nope no no definite no definite no uh, hell i've been doing it too long this guy definitely loved balloon more than uncle roger loved msg I don't bring MSG to bedroom, you know? That's some different type of white powder. That what I bring to bedroom? Yeah. Wow. Is it, does it cost a lot of money doing this? No, I don't think so. Uh, there's people that spend more money uh, buying guns. Have yeah, I guess balloon actually cheap date. You don't have to buy them drink. Uncle Roger is starting to see this guy point now. Choose balloon over woman. You save so much money. Have you ever thought about going and, and, and talking to somebody about it? I don't have a problem. Right, right. So why be concerned? Everybody's trying to make me think like I got a problem. I yeah. don't. Yeah. Give it up. These questions that I ask, they're just strictly out of love. Can't believe I saying this, but Uncle Roger actually agree with Balloon Guy. No need to go therapy. Hi, yeah. He not hurting anyone. Just let him touch his balloon. And I guess liking balloons still more acceptable than liking Jamie Oliver food. <laughs>